Hey guys, I'm going to be going back to the Scorn of the Extreme Antonella trial and doing another clear. Um, my first clear was with Kuja. We got it on exactly turn 20. Uh, I made some mistakes that clear as well, so I'm going to be trying to optimize. And now we're going to be trying Neovision's Last Well. And I'm going to probably be doing a 2-in-1 clear. I'm going to try to do it with an Axstar friend because those two do pair up pretty well together. And then I'm going to try to do it with a Neovision's friend. And we're going to see... Um, you know how they do. Now keep in mind, uh, Haybro's Axstar does not have shift form unlocked, so you're not going to see the true potential of Axstar, but we'll still be able to see for the most part how he does. Uh, Cecil is going to be cover, magic, magic cover with fire and earth resist. Uh, Rosa is just doing Rosa Cheese things where she breaks the bar. We're going to be doing Vaughn for breaking, etc. He's also got barrage material to help break the bar. Uh, Poppy is going to be Mitigation, and she can do Plant Killer buff. I totally forgot that in my Kuja clear. I never even used it. I could have I made the Kuja clear gone even quicker, but whatever. So we're going to be using Neovision's Last Well. Um, one weakness he does have that I've realized is he doesn't have an Imbue in his normal form, and he can't shift until turn 3. So we gave him an Ice Weapon in his regular form so he can have some uh, Ice damage right from turn 1. Uh, and I've got 275 plant killer on regular form. Here is the gear, a little bit of killer. And then shift form is geared a little bit better. We got the ancient sword on the shift form. More killers, more attack power. Uh, I think the shift form has 300% plant killer. Yeah, so when I can shift, I'll be doing really good damage. And then the Neovision's Axstar is going to be using an ice weapon as well. This is the Shiva Lastwell Katana from the anniversary event. Uh, hopefully no one missed that because it'll be good on this unit later. It's his probably best best in slot. Uh, I got some plant killer and I think uh, Haybro is at 200% plant killer. So a little bit less plant killer but um, should still be fine. The cool thing is Axstar is AoE chaining which would actually be great for this if I had an Axstar to chain as well. But because Lastwell is single target we cannot AoE the vines down. But that would have been nice. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fire resist with Rosa on turn 1, so that Cecil can cover and change. Um, Vaughn will go ahead and just do the good break. Uh, Poppy will power up. We're going to do plant killer and stat buff. We actually don't need her mitigations on turn 1. I want that nice attack buff just right out the gate. And then we're going to start chaining our last stars and... Or our, <laughs> our last star. Our last well and X star. All right. Um, whoops, not that. All right. Uh, this is the chain we want. What is this other chain actually? I'm not super familiar with X star. That would give him a 300% attack buff for for five turns. That actually might be slightly better. So we're gonna go ahead and cast that, and then we'll double cast his other chain. Uh, so we're gonna try to kill this top vine first. All right, didn't quite finish it off, but that's all right. That was more of a power-up turn. All right, so the first two turns on this fight are just a bunch of um, fire and ice attacks that we're completely immune to with Cecil for the most part. Uh, Cecil will change cover, and we're going to do a mana regen. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and chain again. We can't shift form quite yet. So we'll just triple, and now we can triple this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to change stance. Actually, Rosa, before we do that, let's have Rosa cure that disease. And we'll do a little bit of chaining on the boss to start breaking it. All right, we can change targets now. Um, let's go ahead and change this. And then I change targets, try to chain a little bit on this one. Perfect, got some, got some free damage in. All right, Poppy will do a magical mitigation, and she's going to do an LB fill. Uh, really? I don't think she needs that cooldown. So we're going to just do a normal LB fill. Yeah, yeah, her, her, her LB will be ready next turn. All right, Cecil can change stance. And um, Vaughn doesn't really have a whole lot he needs to do here. He can just LB again, whatever. All right, so turn two will once again just be some um, some fire and earth attacks that are super weak. No one really cares. 
We're diseased again. The boss only does status effects on turn one and two of his seven turn rotation. Yeah, the boss is a seven turn rotation that just repeats every seven turns. Uh, so we won't get status effect again starting next turn. So now we can just cure those statuses and a little bit more barrage on the boss. Get his flower ready to be weakened for later. Cecil can fire resist and change stance. Um, Laswell can now shift. Uh, do I want to shift now or do I want to wait? No, I'm going to go ahead and shift now. And But I'm not going to use his good chains yet. Ah, uh, uh, the stupid... That shift bug is the biggest annoyance. I wish they would fix that. Alright, uh... We might want to chain three times on this one to make sure it dies. You know, I think we can probably change targets. Let's go ahead and change this, chain this. And then change targets. Yeah, it died. Yeah, because Laswell's shift form is way stronger. Uh, Vaughn has nothing going on here, so he can just, uh... I guess Mirage and Break? Whatever. Alright, so turn three is going to be, um... Some big, powerful magic attacks, which actually start hurting. But not too much. Alright, so I'd love to break this bar right here. Let's see if we can do it with Vaughn and um, Barrage. Now, one one body part's still alive, so Barrage is random target. Alright, so please hit the flower again. Perfect, flower's broken. Okay, so that means Rosa doesn't actually have to use her cooldown this turn. Uh, turn four, five, six. No, we can't use Mana Regen yet. Alright, Laswell is going to triple cast his thingy. Is very descriptive, I know. And Axstar will as well. Um, so we're going to chain here, and then we're going to try to change targets and get a little bit of damage in on the, the flower. Uh, so we're going to power up Poppy, do a plant killer, and do a break immunity. Let's wait for Vaughn to finish. Uh, actually, let's have Cecil. We don't need Earth Resist because Poppy's providing that. So we'll just do this and a um, mana regen. We're going to heal with Rosa as well, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and chain on this. Wait just a little bit, and then change targets. Oh, change targets too slow. That's okay, the, the, the body parts are dead now. Whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and have Rosa dual cast... Uh, a heal and a re-raise on Cecil. Alright, so once again, there's going to be some powerful um, magic attacks this turn. But because the boss is broken, it's not the the break bar is going to do very low damage. Yeah, his stats are very very reduced in break form, including his magic. All right, so now that the flower is dead or the flower is broken, we're gonna we're gonna use Laswell's Magnus for that big boy damage. All right, and Laswell um or Axstar, we're just gonna triple cast here. Uh, let's see, it's turn five. We need this, and we need some mana regen. Let's have Vaughn break. Although, you cannot break the flower's uh, defense. So, mages will always do more here, unless they're like just really weaker. Also, the boss has a mitigation this turn. I just realized that. I probably shouldn't use the Magnus. But I'm going... We're going to do a once per fight. I'm going to save Lastwell's Magnus for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use the Magnus next rotation. Alright, um, let's have Cecil do his LB here. He shouldn't die. Yeah, the flower is very tanky to physical damage. Uh, now let's have Rosa do um, Mana Regen. And some healing. That also applies AoE Re-Raise for this big, this big nuke coming on turn 7. All right, so the block, the bar is back. Now there's going to be some single target physicals and some single target magics, which aren't too powerful. All right, Rosa will uh, do this 
stuff. Vaughn will just triple break. Uh, I think we're back in regular form for last well. We are. Alright, uh, so we can break about 33% of the bar with Axstar. He's actually got a special bar breaking skill. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, it is the 64 MP skill. This one right here. Alright, so we're going to use his big attack buff. And then we're going to double cast his bar break skill. Uh, Lastwell doesn't need... doesn't have much to do here. This actually won't chain proper. It'll chain a little bit, but not really. Let's see, it's turn six. We need LB on Poppy. Let's do that first. Let's have Cecil do resist and cover stance change. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So this will break the bar. As you see, um, last, well, yeah, I mean, Axstar has the skill that breaks the bar very much per turn. It's kind of cheesy the way they gave him that. They, like, put the break bar in, and then they put the, the way to break the break bar on this new unit. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of how they did that, but they did it, so whatever. All right, so this is turn seven. This is going to be that big magical AoE. So we're going to use Cecil's big magic mitt. We're going to refresh cover, and we're going to change stance. Uh, we can't shift on last well. That's okay. We will... Um, just triple chain. Just triple chain. Uh, actually, is it more damage to chain the other skill on Axstar? It is, actually. So we're going to do that. One, two, and the Magnus. Uh, Vaughn will do this first. Let's see, Poppy will do that, Plant Killer, and Break Immunity. Wait for this to finish. Let's go ahead and do some chaining. Not great damage, truthfully. But we're, we're going to shift for him next round, so it's fine. Uh, so we've got re-raising everyone, so go ahead and guard. So we've got the big mitigation from, um, from Cecil, this should be fine. I don't think anyone's going to die. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Ooh. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. But we're okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and have Vaughn. Um, barrage. We'll have Rosa do cast her barrage, dual cast her barrage. Uh, once again, we're going to use Axstar to use his gauge break skill. And Laswell can brave shift, but... um. We're going to wait and Brave Shift until next turn. So we're just going to chain this a little bit. Alright, there we go. go. Gauge has been broken a second time. Let's do this. And let's do some Mana Regen. Cecil can swap and cover. All right, so we're back to the phase where he does status effects, so we're going to get diseased and all that. All right, Vaughn, come on. The gauge is broken. We've got Axtar on the team. He's like the, the gauge breaker. <laughs> we actually probably didn't even need Rosa for this with Axtar. All right, let's have um, Lastwell Brave Shift. I'm going to get out of this because it glitches always all right now we're gonna use his Magnus let's have Rosa cure that um, disease before we do our big chain Axstar will do his big chain uh, we don't quite have LB on Poppy this turn I kind of wish we did hopefully we get it from drops oh we didn't get it that's a little disappointing. Um, maybe Vaughn can get it for us? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have Poppy's LB this turn. Whatever. 
Ah, uh, which means we will have to skip it for a turn. Ooh, it sucks. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So we're gonna lose our big stat buffs. I probably should have given her more LB fill. Yeah, so this is the rotation again, the earth and fire attacks. Super weak. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna do his attack buff and bar break. Mm, not bad. Last well will triple his. Bond will do that. Rosa will double break. Poppy will power up. And Cecil, um, fire resist and change stance. Actually, fine that we got so close. That's actually kind of, kind of, kind of convenient. I mean, that means we're going to get two turns now of big damage. All right, Rosa. Let's cure that disease and let's finish off that break bar. Uh, it's turn eleven. We need magic mitt, and I guess we'll just do physical mitt for the sake of it. Doesn't really matter. All right, Vaughn, let's see if we can get your LB. If not, we'll just do regular breaks. We got it. All right, Cecil, we're go uh, this is the big damage turn for Cecil. All right, um, last well is in shift form, so this will be pretty decent damage. Uh, Axtar has run out of Magnus abilities. This boss is so ridiculously tanky. It's craziness. All right, is that mitigation now, which is annoying? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm back in regular form. Boo! I wish last one could stay in his shifted form. It's so much better. All right, whatever. Uh, so now we've got Poppy's LB. Let's see, Vaughn will just do uh, Mirage for the sake of it and some breaks. Cecil will fire resist and cover. Uh, it's turn 12, so 12, 13, 14. If we re-raise on this turn, it'll still be up. So we're gonna have Rosa um, do her re-raise cooldown. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do some damage because this refills mana. All right, and refill some mana with Rosa. That also applies re-raise just in case for turn 14. All right, Cecil's um, Magic Mitt cooldown lasts for two turns, so we can cast it now, and it'll still be up next turn for that big that big AOE. Um, whoops. Alright, let's dual cast some breaks with her. Let's barrage with Vaughn. Uh, it's turn 13. Poppy needs to refresh all her stuff. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we deal before we decide what we're going to do with our chainers. We can possibly finish the rest of the bar with just regular chains. If not, we'll use Laswell's um, special chain, I mean, Axdar's special chain break skill. Now nah, we're going to need Axtar's Chain Break skill. Okay. Uh, and we can shift in the Brave form next turn with Lastwell. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and just do Triple Chain with Lastwell. I think just one cast of the, the Brave Shift Break will work. So we're going to MP buff. And then we're going to um, break the bar. Yep, got it. Outstanding. I probably should have waited and broke it next turn instead. It was actually actually kind of a, a mistake because then I could have had two turns of DPS in a row. Uh, well, too late now. 
Yeah, this break bar stuff's a little complicated to um to figure out. All right, please don't glitch on me. Hey, it's actually working. It didn't. It didn't glitch. All right. Uh, it's turn fourteen. This is this. And let's go ahead and give super mitigation to the friend, because he took a little bit of extra damage last time. Alright, Vaughn, let's do your LB for bigger breaks. Rosa, we'll wait on you. Cecil, we'll just do whatever. We've still got Cecil's in mitigation. Oh, we never did general mitigation with Cecil. I never did general mitigation with Cecil. And it's too late. I could reset the app, whatever. I, so the friend's not gonna die. My last wall might die here, because yeah, we're gonna take double damage. We don't have any general mitigation whatsoever. This is completely my fault. Yeah, eh, annoying. I'm so glad that I gave the friend Pwn's cooldown. I didn't even. Or Poppy's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna still call her Pwn half the time, but I can't help it. Uh, but yeah. Okay, well, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's break the bar so that next turn we can just finish him. Uh, yeah, and if I had planned this better, we could have had a 15 turn clear. If I had broken him two different turns in a row. Uh, let's try to get Poppy's LB if possible. Rosa, um, Chain, Cecil. I can't believe I forgot to cast Cecil's mitigation. That makes this look so sloppy. Alright, let's cover, let's change, and just mana regen, whatever. I guess we're not getting Poppy's LB here. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're going to win next turn. Alright, let's go ahead and cure that disease. Let's have Poppy do the buffs we need on the chainers. Uh, I think last well is... Yeah, you can't shift for one more turn. It's fine. And then Axstar can triple. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Antonola. Uh, 16 turns. Should have been 15. I did I did a quite a quite mi a small miscalculation on... Uh, almost the turn 13. I could have had, I could have had an extra turn of pure DPS without the, without the break bar, but... Uh, yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna try that again with a last well friend, and we're gonna we're gonna compare. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Hey guys. All right. So now we're gonna be trying the Antonella with a double last well comp and see how it does. Uh, Cecil has not changed, along with Rosa, uh, Vaughn, and Poppy. We've got last well. Um, if you're skipping straight to it, I'll just show you all the gear again. Uh, and then his shift form is same thing, but lots more plant killer in the shift form with better stats. And we're taking Itsuki's last well. Unfortunately, his does not have shift form unlocked, which means we can only do his regular form. Which is uh, a little less, but he does have some nice gear. And he's got 300% um, plant killer in the regular form with an ice weapon. So let's go ahead and get in here and see how this compares to uh, an Axstar friend. And, ne and uh, neither one of these clears will be, like, super optimal because both of the friends do not have EX form unlocked. This makes me a little sad, but that's just the way it is. Alright, so we're going to fire resist. Vaughn will break. Uh, Poppy will... Come on. Power, plant killer, and buff. And then we'll just start chaining. Let's see, we've got level 5 chain, outstanding. And we're going to kill the top one first again. Whew. More damage. Pretty good. 
Alright, so I'm gonna try to change targets and uh, chain on the other one as well next turn. Alright, let's see. We're going to cure the disease and start working on the flower. Alright, now that she's going, we can just start the next person. Let's have Poppy do resist and... We're going to do an LB fill, because I really want to go to her LB next turn, and last time we didn't get it when I wanted it. Alright, Cecil, cover, change, and we're going to start some mana regen. Uh, so let's see, so we're going to start the chain, and then immediately change target. So we can kill this one, perfect. And then Vaughn can just LB again, because why not? You know, I should have actually LB'd on Vaughn the turn after, but whatever. It's not really going to matter much. Alright, so we're diseased again. Actually, only my guy is, is diseased, because I don't have the, the gear to make him disease immune. But that's okay. We'll just have Rosa cure it, and then start chaining on this one again. Poppy will LB. Cecil will fire resist and chain stance. I know this is really exciting that I'm... Repeating everything, but it's just the way it is. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, mine can actually brave shift now. Unfortunately, the friend will not be able to. But I will increase the damage from my guy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chain, and then we're gonna change targets. Didn't quite get it. But that's okay. We'll kill them both next turn. All right, Cecil's taking some big hits. Uh, we don't want to break the break bar, so we're just going to leave it at 20% for now until we're ready to actually DPS. Uh, so let's see. So we're going to start that. Immediately change targets to kill both of those. Outstanding. I uh, will break the break bar next turn. It's turn four. Poppy will just do those buffs. Cecil will mana regen, cover, and change. Rosa. Ah, uh, we don't want to do anything with Rosa yet. Let's go ahead and heal. I guess Rosa will just... Uh, let's re-raise Cecil as well, just in case. I don't, I don't think he's going to die, but... We have a dual cast, may as well use it. So it's turn four. The next big AoE is going to be on... Um, Turn 7, so let's see, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to do the Mana Regen cooldown on turn 5. Which is next turn. I think the boss has mitigation this time. Oh, he does. What a headache. Alright, Rosa. Let's uh, do that and Mana Regen. Which will break the bar. Uh, it's turn five. Cecil will do his LB here. Let's see. Poppy will just fill. Uh, and we'll chain. We'll go ahead and do Vaughn before I do that. So the boss has mitigation this round, so it won't be super great damage. And I think my shift form wears off next turn, too. This kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, shift... Ooh, shift form wore off. That's annoying. Okay. I guess it kind of requires, like, more planning to properly use, uh... To make the, the good damage line up with the bar being broken. Uh, to turn 6, we'll do this. Cecil, um, we're going to do your mitigation because it'll still be up next turn. And we're going to change... Actually, we're not going to change stance this turn. We're going to do resist buff and your big mitigation. Uh, let's see. Rosa, nothing for you to do. Vaughn, let's just break. I don't know why I cast that three times, but I did. And let's do some damage, but the boss has, I think, mitigation again this turn. Oh, no mitigation. Oh, I should have used the magnet. Oh, actually, I wasn't in um, that form, so I didn't have a magnet to use. 
Uh, it's turn six, nothing to do here. Everybody's full health. All right, there's the bar. So next turn will be the big AoE. Uh, I think the friend will be fine. I guess it's possible that the friend... How much spirit does he have? 397. That's a little risky. Um, all right, I think I'm going to use a big cooldown on the friend so he doesn't die. So we're going to use a big survival cooldown, and we're going to do an immunity buff. All right, so the friend... The friend will be fine here. Alright, let's have Rosa break bar. Vaughn will barrage. Cecil will um, change stance and just refresh his cover. Alright, so we're not going to break the bar in one turn, but we might partially break it. So close. Oh, we might actually do it. Well, we did it. That actually makes that's actually kind of good because that means this this big super attack is gonna deal way less damage now. Yeah, because he's broken, it does like no damage. Uh, and now I can brave shift, and the boss has no buffs, so I can now do my madness. Oh, this stupid glitch! Alright. Uh, Poppy will do Plant Killer and Magic Mitt. Um, Vaughn will do this. Let's see. Rose has nothing to do. Cecil is going to double Mana Regen and change Stance. Let's go ahead and do some damage with Laswell. And the Magnus. Which is still not super impressive damage, but it's something. Alright, I did not get Poppy's LB again. I, forgot, I didn't change her gear. I should, I should have given her more LB fill. It's my mistake. Alright, instead of curing the disease, I'm just going to have Rosa double cast the break removal. And Vaughn will barrage uh, Cecil. Let's see. We will fire resist and change stance. We do still have cover, right? Yeah, one more turn. Uh, it's turn nine. This is when I would normally do Poppy's LB. But it's not available. Let's wait for Rose to finish, then we'll just chain. Alright, so we'll break the bar next turn. I'm actually running kind of low on mana on my guy. It's unfortunate. Oh, 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 Poppy. I'm sitting here like, what's going on? What's going on? It's Poppy's turn. We'll do some mana regen with her. It's not much mana regen. That wasn't the powered up version. Yeah, I should have I should have given Onion's Boots to um my last well. It's kind of unfortunate. Alright, Cecil. Let's mana regen, change stance, and cover. It's turn 10. The big AoE is coming later. Rosa will heal and barrage. We'll do Rosa's mana regen cooldown next turn, so it'll be fine. Bond will break. Uh, it's turn 10, so we need to do Poppy's stuff. Alright, um, we're in the shift form right now, that's good. I uh, should have just hit reload first, whatever. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, wait for Vaughn to finish, and I want this to break. Alright, let's go ahead and do some chaining. Alright, so turn 10, um, let's see, 12, 13, 14. I want to use Rose's cooldown on turn 12, actually. So it'll still be active on turn 14. You know, I don't think it's going to matter. I think I think we're going to actually win before then. So I might use her cooldown right now. Well, then again, we just lost my Brave Shift. Yeah, let's go ahead and use her cooldown right now. I think it'll be totally fine. It's going to be totally fine. 
Uh, that's one, two, three. Uh, it's turn 11. This is when Poppy does this. And mana regen. Uh, Vaughn will break with his LB. Cecil will give um, mitigation this turn. Oh, the boss has the boss has that stupid damage reduction. It's so annoying. Okay, whatever. So we're gonna win on turn thirteen. We're actually gonna win before the big A week. Yeah. So we're gonna spend this turn removing the bar and next turn removing the bar, and then we'll uh, we'll win on the turn after that. LB with you. Rosa will double that. Vaughn will barrage, reload, um, brave shift next turn. Yeah, we're definitely winning next turn. Uh, Cecil, we will damage reduction and change stance. Wait for this to finish. All right, it's good enough. Let's go ahead and. Get him, Vaughn! Get him! And bar's, bro bar's broken. Yep. We finish next turn. Alright, turn 13. Um, the Axtar clear. Did it on turn 16. Both clears had one or two very small mistakes. Not nothing major. Nothing that really would influence it too much. So overall, uh, I mean, as I said in my previous video, Lastwell is a little stronger than Axtar. Um... We go ahead and shift, doesn't really matter. We're gonna win, shift it or not. But we'll shift just for the sake of it. Uh, we do wanna do our killer buff though. All right, goodbye Antonola. Yep, turn 13, double last well. Yeah, like, like I mentioned before, um, last well does, do, last well does more damage than Axtar, which is kind of silly considering last well is effectively free. And Axtar is a brand new Neovision on banner. I don't know why they made Lastwell out damage him, but they did. Uh, but that was both clears had neither one of the units had their EX form unlocked. So Axtar was not at full potential. Lastwell was not at full potential. Mine was, but the friend wasn't. Uh, still pretty good. Uh, both of them were quicker than Kuja, which is unfortunate. And that fight is really unfriendly to physical units. You can't break his defense. So. Anyway, hope it's been informative. I'll see you guys next time.